Greetings everybody, this is Shadowstar here on Maxim72 for my PlayStation ID and welcome to the next video for my Let's Play series for Marvel Spider-Man The Remastered Edition. And in case you want to check out any other videos from my Let's Play series, I will leave the playlist link in the video description down below. Okay, so just a quick recap for anybody who did miss the previous video. Um, managed to slightly recover from the beating from meeting the Sinister Six for the first time on the roof of the Raft prison. Managed to help even the odds slightly against the Mercs who are following two members of the Sinister Six who are leading the attacks against both the Upper West Precinct and Upper East Precincts. To which those members were both Rhino and Electro. I'm not facing those just yet. I was just helping turn the, even the odds a bit against the escaped con convicts. And also managed to save both Aunt May and Miles Morales from the Harlem Feast Center to which it was attacked by escaped convicts to which thankfully Mary Jane managed to help help us out and now both her and Spider-Man are back on talking terms plus a plan has been put in place by both by the three of or the trio let's call it of Mary Jane Spider-Man and Miles Morales where MJ is tracking down any leads possible for the location and production of an anti-serum for Devil's Breath. Miles is the eyes and ears for Spider-Man at the Feast Center. While now Spider-Man is tracking, starting to track the members of, of the Sinister Six. Starting with the Times Square where Doc Ock released the Devil's Breath. Sorry, I need to click my neck. And just in case if anybody's wearing what suit I'm actually wearing, I'm actually wearing the black and gold suit from Spider-Man No Way Home movie. And if anybody's wondering if I'm going to be wearing the other suit from No Way Home, I will be, but not just yet. Okay, so I'm now going to track to this... Oh. Trail jumps between these buildings. Trail leads down into those vents. What was Otto doing up here? Should be a Doc door. Ox set up shop here. here. Bit of an odd choice, but what the hey? Let's see what's down here. All right. Down I go. Well, this is moody. Of course, I do want to give everybody a heads up. If I do hesitate or stutter with any of my sentences, being an autistic individual, talk is not one of my strongest points, but I do try Somebody anyway. Hit the lights. Okay, so where's the light switch in here? Oh, there it is. Switch my electric webs. Let there be light. Whoa. Okay, then. Now, this is interesting. Chaos of the prison break would have been perfect cover to move in. This desk must be referring to Martin Lee and the demons. I can't believe this is the same man I knew at Feast. Seems like Otto and Lee have more of a history than I thought. And of course, if you want to read that in more detail, ladies and gentlemen, just feel free to hit the pause button. But uh, long story short. Like Spider-Man just said, there seems to be more history between both Otto Octavius and Martin Lee than one is putting on. <coughs> Ooh, let's see what this has to say. Oh, Martin. When I first realized it was you targeting Osborne these past weeks, I was shocked and saddened. But then, as the situation evolved before my eyes, I felt... Inspired. You took the bold steps I had always dreamed of, Martin, and you took them without hesitation. I am honored now to join you on this path towards true Ooh, boy. justice. So Martin Lee was the trigger for Otto. It seems that Martin Lee was the trigger for Otto. His rage was there. Face is exacerbating it, but his hate is genuine. 
He'll destroy the whole city to hurt Norman. Look. His other inventions are bringing him his rage to light. Oh boy. Hmm. But it looks like Lee Lee's actions against Osborne was uh, the trigger to help to help push his plan into motion. Honestly, sometimes I just wish in this game, Spider-Man would just let Otto just dispose of Norman. Because, quite frankly, the last thing I want to do throughout these games is deal with the Green Goblin. Because that enemy, aside from Doc Ock, can really, really test Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, boy. Looks like Sable International's got their work cut out for them. Should have sided with the webhead. Stubborn piece of work, Sable. Good old Rhino. Ooh. My second favorite Russian. Otto developed a corrosive to free Rhino from his suit. A certain government Interesting. spent years trying and failing to do that. Only took Otto a few days. And if anybody's asking, I don't know too much about Rhino's hit. Background history. Well, all I know is that he's one, he's one of Spider-Man's rogue galleries and the one who can cause the most damage physically. The world sees you as a witless dullard. I see a warrior with a poet's heart. I know you desire freedom from the battle suit you're sealed inside. Help me achieve my goals. I wonder how exactly. I wonder how exactly Rhino got some. Mm, like built before he got sealed inside his battle suit. That, that part was always AKA been scorpion, a mystery to me. AKA crazy pants McCrazy. Ah, the psychotic scorpion. Let's learn a little bit about it. Scorpion's helping Otto in exchange McGargan. for McGargan. Criminal record expunged. Gambling debts erased. And just in case anybody has missed it, J. Jonah Jameson actually funded the original project to help bring Scorpion to life, which ultimately backfired in his face. You are in a ruse to some demanding individuals. But once the reservoir job is finished, your financial reservoir will be finished as well. Otto Octavius is nothing if not... So we got a good idea of where Scorpion's going to be going. With the poisons loaded into his mechanical tail, he can definitely do some damage to water. Or the water supply. Oh. Vulture. Oh, Vulture. I've tangled with him more than anyone else here. Power source for Vulture's wings gave him spinal cancer. Oh boy. I was developing an experimental treatment to save him. Adrian, what bitter irony that your miraculous wings should have brought such horrors on your body. All those years using his mechanical wings to cause mayhem and come back to bite him in the backside. Shuffle off this mortal coil just yet, my friend. Okay, so who's last on the list? Uh, Sparky, aka Electro. Electro's big pipe dream is to become pure energy. I have absolutely zero clue on how the hell that would even get achieved. But my only focus now is to make sure that he get he gets dealt with. Max, when you first conveyed your dream to me, I thought you were insane. Pure energy. 
<laughs> but as I dove deeper into the problem, I discovered a way to give us both what we desire. I promise you, when we are done, you will be pure really? energy. Really? Or so close to it as to make the difference irrelevant. Interesting to see their motivations if I help in auto. Okay then, what's this? A uh, blank map, but my gut's telling me that there's something written in secret. Only question is on how the hell do I reveal it? Reveal what is hidden inside. Oh, UV lamp. Nice. And it's out of use. Great. So, with... So, electric webs are automatically equipped. Now, where the hell am I going to find the power source for the, for the UV lamp? Ah, there it is. We go. Let's see if that has revealed anything. Ooh, it has to. Oh, tasked the villains to destroy Oscorp holdings throughout the city. He's trying to take apart Norman's empire piece by piece. I mean, seriously, why didn't you just let him just dis destroy Osborne? Last thing I want to deal with, or you should be dealing with, with the, the Green Goblin. Poison the city's of all people. Another Oscorp owned property. Rhino's targeting Oscorp shoreline properties. Which is he hitting first? And why? Scorpion and Rhino <laughs> definitely make sense. Do the most damage, and of course, Electro. What's Vulture doing in Times Square? I need to keep my guard up. Please, going after the Devil's Breath anti serum. Of course, the big hit, the, the big boys, both seems both Lee and Otto are going after the anti serum. And then after, ooh, gotta make sure they don't get at the final stage. Wait a sec, I think there was a box of Icarus around here. Ah, there it is. Oh, fuck. I should have known. Otto Octavius. There is no Icarus, is there? No. Martin needs no assistance to secure the anti-serum. Icarus was a ruse to get you into position. Into position? Huh? Need a lift? So refreshing to work for a man like Octavius. Backup plans for his backup plans. MJ, hey! Pete, are you okay? What's happening? Traffic's rough. Listen, Lee's gunning for the anti-serum. We need to find Oscorp's Devil's Breath lab before he does. On it right now. I'm pulling every building permit in the city. If there's a record of the lab, I'll find it. That's great! Okay, uh, uh, talk soon, MJ! Trap failed? Softened him up. Time for plan B. Oh great, out of the frying pan and into the fire once again. Gotta deal with Sparky and the old guy. Oh, you stupid webs, will you just reload faster? Huh. After a few punches, I got... All I need to do is just destroy that transformer. Nice. Honestly, aerial battles are not my favorite, but I'll get them done anyway. Much prefer to be on solid ground. Where'd you go, you old geezer? Oh, you, 
Oh, you... Uh. You're more than welcome to try. You got it. You got my joke. I'm so happy I can almost stop fighting. But now I got to deal with the double team. Oh, great. Got to be honest. I liked it better when you two were loners. Vulture's suit is more stubborn than I thought. A figure of youth, the wisdom of experience, a fine carry. Will he just go down already? Oh, that's handy. Could throw one of his mechanical wing feathers back at him. Oh, for crying out loud. He was... He was sparky right now. Oh. Uh -oh. Easy peasy. Oh, I think he's a tad mad. What do you think? Hmm. What better way to deal with electricity than use uh, a bit of... Oof. That's not good. Whew. Dodge that by the skin of my teeth. Oh, come on, you stupid... Get to you in a second, spot, <laughs> Electro. Deal with the stubborn old geezer right now. Okay, that's it. Where'd you go? Oh. Finally. Oh, the third transformer. Uh, gotta avoid those outbursts. All right, that's one down, one to go. Shouldn't take too long dealing with this old geezer. All right, Vulture, just stand still, take your beatings, <coughs> so we can end this. All I looks like all I need is uh. One finishing maneuver. As long as he stays still. And voila! That takes care of those two. Two down, four to go. What's happening? Electro's been grounded. Spider Man, I presume. If you really cared about this city, you'd be helping me expose Osborne for the criminal he is. By killing innocent people? I would have restored the power. You're sick. You need help. I have all the help I need. And we will not stop until Norman gets what he deserves. <sighs> I hate it when they team up. Just need to... Catch my breath. What time? Oh, man. Okay, and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be ending this episode here. I do hope you all enjoyed this video. So when I pick this up next time, I'm going to be going after Scorpion to try and stop him from polluting the water supply for Manhattan. So until next time, everybody, I've been Shadowstar or Maxim72 for my PlayStation ID. Stay safe out there, take care, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.